no more friendly terms. Megan sheds tears as her deal with WME falls apart this spring, influenced by Serena's advice. If you are new to this channel, please remember to subscribe and turn on notifications to get all our daily royal updates. Presently, a renowned addition is causing headaches for a prominent company, failing to elevate the individual's status. They attempted to feature her at high-profile events alongside numerous A-listers, leveraging these connections. However, after nine months, the celebrity contributed nothing of value to the organization. This represents the company's most significant setback since its inception. The firm in question is WME, and the celebrity is Meghan Markle. If there's no improvement, Jill Smaller will convene with the board of directors in the approaching spring, marking the final deadline, and Meghan Markle will be entirely disassociated from the company. Jill Smaller, a sports agent and former professional tennis player, is recognized as a trailblazer for women in the industry. She is most prominently known as the long-serving agent for tennis sensation Serena Williams. Smaller assumed the role of heading WME Sports and Entertainment Division in April 2001, overseeing sports marketing endeavors. Her pivotal role included signing Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, to WME's client roster in April 2023. Amid swirling rumors, we recently conversed with an agent at WME over the weekend. After a couple of cocktails, I inquired about the nature of WME's association with Megan. How did they come to represent her? What was the rationale behind her signing? How's the collaboration progressing? What are their objectives, etc.? They rolled their eyes and characterized it as a complete charade. Here's how it unfolded Jill Smaller, as Serena's agent, wields considerable influence within WME. Despite the desires of royal watchers, Serena and Markle share a close relationship. Essentially, Serena insisted that WME step in and provide assistance to Markle. WME found itself with limited options in this regard. Only once did Meghan visit the LA office for a strategic meeting, prompting a memo to be circulated to all agents, encouraging them to establish partnerships, friendships, and connections with their clients. With Markle, spanning clients from actors, sports figures, events, brands, and more, no agents are keen to oblige. The term used to describe Markle is kryptonite. Clients want no association with her, and agents have no genuine interest in promoting her to their clients, should you spot Megan at an event, whether a concert or a red carpet affair. It's primarily because WME's executive clients or its subsidiary companies were already in attendance, and they insisted on her inclusion as an add-on. Organizers typically prefer her absence but are compelled otherwise. She lacks an independent presence, she's always in tow. Megan aspires to be a virtuous global ambassador but lacks the credentials. She seeks prominence in Hollywood but lacks a noteworthy track record and she covets a role in national politics but struggles to secure the approval of influential figures, agents within WME regard her as a farce and a talent with little merit. They scarcely make an effort to promote her, and if there's no significant progress by the upcoming spring, the arrangement will be dissolved. Notably, she held the second-highest earnings among female athletes worldwide last year, despite participating in only a handful of games. So Serena remains a formidable brand, generating revenue through endorsements and sponsorship deals, mainly off the court. If WME earns a 10% commission, that translates to a substantial $5 million annually.